Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Steelers lose Kenny Pickett for Bengals game. The Pittsburgh Steelers will spend another week without their starting quarterback under center. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin officially ruled Kenny Pickett out, as they enter a matchup with the Cincinnati Bengals clinging to dwindling playoff odds in a crowded AFC race. Tomlin said Mason Rudolph will leapfrog Mitch Trubisky on the depth chart and be the backup this week as well. Trubisky has started the last two weeks but was benched late against the Colts a week ago. Pickett suffered an ankle injury just before halftime of the Steelers' loss to the Arizona Cardinals in Week 12. Tomlin said at the beginning of the week that they would leave the light on for Pickett ahead of the Bengals' game. He practiced but had been limited all week. The original timetable for Pickett's return was three to four weeks and this weekend will mark three weeks from the injury. Already having suffered a litany of injuries on defense, the Steelers will be undermanned again with their playoff hopes on the line. Make sure you bookmark all Steelers for the latest news, exclusive interviews, film breakdowns, and so much more. Kenny Pickett has once again been ruled out, so Mason Rudolph is in and will start at quarterback when the Pittsburgh Steelers play the Cincinnati Bengals on Saturday. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin announced Pickett's status and his decision at quarterback Thursday. Mitchell Trubisky, who started the last two games, will be the backup. After saying the door was ajar for Pickett to play, less than three weeks after undergoing tightrope surgery on his right ankle, the second-year signal caller practiced on a limited basis all week. Rudolph, who played six snaps in the loss to the Indianapolis Colts last week, will start his first game since 2021. He faced the Detroit Lions in Week 10 that season and finished with 242 yards, one touchdown and one interception in the 16-16 tie. When asked Tuesday about the possibility of playing under center, the veteran expressed excitement for himself and said his teammates were supportive. Tomlin said he made the move to Rudolph because he wants to create spark on offense. Mason Rudolph will be the Steelers' starting quarterback in Week 16. The Pittsburgh Steelers are making changes at the quarterback position. After three consecutive defeats with Mitchell Trubisky in charge of the attack, head coach Mike Tomlin announced this Monday, 18, that Mason Rudolph will be the team's new starter for the duel against the Cincinnati Bengals, in Week 16 of the NFL. However, Tomlin reiterated that the Steelers are leaving the door ajar for a possible return of Kenny Pickett, the team's first-choice QB, later this round. The player has not been on the field since Week 13, when he suffered an ankle injury during the 16-10 victory in the first meeting against Cincinnati of the season. Pittsburgh hasn't won another game since. To recover, Pickett had to undergo surgery and, according to information released in early December by Ian Rappaport, from NFL Network, the most likely scenario is that the QB will only return in Week 17. Meanwhile, Rudolph remains with a great chance of starting in the next round. Pittsburgh's selection in the third round of the 2018 draft, the player played 18 games in the NFL, accumulating 2,369 yards with 61.5% passing efficiency, 16 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. He still has a 5-4-1 record in 10 games started for the Steelers. The decision to play Rudolph as a starter was explained by coach Mike Tomlin. He is a veteran. A reserve, but also a veteran. He's been in our program for a long time. He is here for these reasons, said the HC. Why are we making the change? We don't like what we're seeing, the consistency of it. What I want to say is that we are not scoring enough points, he concluded. Brett Mason Rudolph III, born July 17, 1995, is an American football quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers of the National Football League, NFL. He played college football at Oklahoma State, where he was a three-year starter and won the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award during his last year. He was selected by the Steelers in the third round of the 2018 NFL Draft. Rudolph spent the 2018 season as the Steelers' third-string quarterback and saw no game action in the regular season. He saw starting action in 2019 after Ben Roethlisberger was injured early in the season. He would alternate starts with Devlin Hodges throughout the season. 
He started in place of Roethlisberger twice between 2020 and 2021, before returning to third string in 2022 and again not playing. He attended Westminster Catawba Christian School, before transferring to Northwestern High School, in Rock Hill, South Carolina. During his career, he passed for 10,986 yards and 132 passing touchdowns. During his senior season, he accounted for 80 total touchdowns and threw for 4,400 yards as he led the Trojans to a 15-0 record for a state championship and number 7 national ranking. He played in the annual Shrine Bowl All-Star Game, was named the offensive MVP as he led South Carolina on a game-winning drive in the final 20 seconds. He was a finalist for South Carolina's Mr. Football Award. Rudolph was rated by Rivals.com as a four-star recruit and was ranked as the ninth-best pro-style quarterback in his class. Colts coached free agent R.B. Ronald Jones. The Indianapolis Colts have worked out running back Ronald Jones, according to the league's trade transfer on Tuesday. While the Colts hope to see Jonathan Taylor return soon, he is eligible to return from the PUP list next week, they continue to keep an eye on the market. Jones, a former 2018 second-round pick, spent the offseason with the Dallas Cowboys. He was suspended for the first two games of the season for violating the league's PED policy. The Cowboys released him after his suspension was lifted in Week 3. Jones has struggled to regain his second-round draft capital since entering the league. He has never recorded more than 1,000 rushing yards, although he came close in 2020 when he recorded 192 carries for 978 rushing yards and seven rushing touchdowns in 14 games with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Colts are rolling with Zach Moss as the unquestioned leader on defense, while the aforementioned Taylor is on the PUP list. They also signed Trey Sermon to the practice squad and then promoted him to the active roster in Week 3. It remains to be seen whether Taylor will immediately return once he is eligible in Week 5, but that isn't stopping the Colts from monitoring the market. The Steelers are also interested in signing Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones II, born August 3, 1997, is an American football running back who is a free agent. He played college football at USC, where he finished his college career with over 3,600 rushing yards over three seasons before being selected by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the second round of the 2018 NFL Draft. Jones attended McKinney North High School in McKinney, Texas, where he ran track and played football. Jones also played tailback for the Bulldogs high school football team. He was rated by Rivals.com as a four-star recruit and in 2015 was ranked as the fourth-best running back and 40th-best player overall. Jones committed to the University of Southern California, USC, to play college football. Jones played college football at USC under head coaches Steve Sarkeesian and Clay Helton. As a freshman in 2015, Jones recorded 153 carries for 987 yards and 8 touchdowns to go along with 7 receptions for 39 yards and a touchdown in 14 games and no starts. As a sophomore in 2016, Jones recorded 177 carries for 1,082 yards and 12 touchdowns to go along with 11 receptions for 76 yards and a touchdown in 13 games and 6 starts. And you fan, what do you think of the Ronald Jones situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.